Parents on Gross Eel reacting tonight after a teacher's alleged lewd behavior right near a practice field. Police there say they are now investigating this disturbing report. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper is live at the police station in Gross Eel with more on this story. Rudy. Well, these disturbing allegations overshadow the first full day of classes here. That teacher and coach has not been identified by the district. However, we know he is no longer allowed on district property while police investigate. This close-knit community of about 10,000 people sits downriver from downtown Detroit. We moved back knowing that my child would get the best education possible. Katie Proctor has a son who just started the fifth grade. She's shocked that on the first full day of classes, a teacher and coach in the district was placed on administrative leave for alleged lewd behavior in a public park. I hope that there, there's some twist. I'm hoping, I'm waiting for that, something misunderstood or some kind of twist where I just feel like we have such great educators. The district superintendent sent a statement to parents offering minimal details. She wrote on August 30th, there was a report that a teacher was seen involved in lewd behavior in his car in a parking lot of a sports field. That teacher and coach is no longer allowed on district property and has been barred from speaking with students and parents while the district and police investigate. This mother says the rumor mill is spinning around town but she's waiting for the facts to come out. It's disappointing to see if this really does shake out as what I've heard so far, um, but myself personally, I wanna wait and see kind of what happens. That mother says students and teachers are like family in the small community. Police are telling us tonight, no students were involved. In Grosse Hill, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.